All right, this is one of my favorites called the Invisible Coin Illusion. This is the Invisible Coin. I know it doesn't look like much. You can't see it until it just drops in your hand like this. Now, of course, the coin can actually look like it vanishes completely. So again, it's not there. But if I toss it in the air, right back into my hand. Now, sometimes it can look like it goes through my hand. I'll do that again, see? Here's the coin, here's the hand, here comes the coin through the hand, ready? Or I can make it go right through the table and it ends up inside of my pocket. Ah, there it is, right there. So, there's the 50 cent piece. It almost looks like it can change into a real simulated Chinese coin. Watch. It'll change into the half dollar, and then it changes back. Now, a lot of people wonder, how does this work? Well, in order to make one change into another one, you actually need two coins. Yeah, see, the other one is right down there. So this, of course, is the American half dollar. And this one is a real simulated Chinese coin, unless you want to call it a Chinese washer, <laughs> not infused with a Chinese dryer. Never mind. Oh, where'd the coin go? Oh, there it is. So, a lot of people wonder how I do this trick. Well, it's pretty simple, actually. What you do is you take the real simulated Chinese coin and you hide it right there so that nobody can see it, see? Then what you do is when nobody's looking, you reach up and you grab that coin, see? There it is. You change it for this one and then take this one and put it back. That's because in order to make that one change, you need this extra one right here. Did you see it? So a lot of people wonder, how does this actually work? Well, you see, these two coins are not exactly the same size. You see, this one's a little smaller than that one. See, this one is a little bit bigger than that one. 